Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to learn how to create rivers in Hearts of Iron 4. Might be a little bit longer than my previous videos on tutorials and stuff, but hopefully you'll find it useful, and this is how I make it. So first, you want to make your mod, obviously, but <clears throat> once you've done that, go ahead, pull up the Steam files and your mod file. And I want you to copy, um, okay, go to map, I'm just going to copy map over, paste that here, and that's really all you need. But I'm going to be creating my own terrain as well, so common, should be terrain. Yeah. Create a new file here, name it common. <clears throat> then go ahead and copy over terrain. Alright, and that's all you need. Ooh. So in map. Hold on, do we need states? No, we don't. Okay. Good. So we're going to open in dash debug, um, how to bind for it. All right. And go ahead and go to nudge and open up your database. So for this one, we're not going to do something too big to keep the video short. So I'm going to go ahead and be a good example here but this little river right here generate an RGB see this number right here go ahead open your file and open Let's see definition I'm using notepad here but you can use anything I just use notepad because it's simple go to the very end Actually, no, you want to copy, um, simplest, just copy some random ocean province. And then use the next available province ID. And then put in the RGB 185, as you can see here, 221, <clears throat> and 15. We're only going to be using one province for this river because. Get again, I want to keep the video short and simple. Save this, and we are going to open up strategic regions. Um, this river is going to be its own strategic region. So right here, to get the closest weather, we see this is the uh, fourth strategic region. So we'll be copying that. Paste, rename to 289. I don't know what this river is called. I have not researched this video before I went in, so I'm going to call it River Test for convenience. Open this up, and you don't need any of this. 133. Put in the uh, ID you put in here, which was 13363. Okay, assuming you put in the right weather, or you copy the closest thing, this should all be right. Now, the name here isn't going to be right, so for a placeholder, river. ID 289, because that's the next one in the list. I can show you how to make the actual names later, though I haven't done it for rivers before. Anyways, save this map. I'm going to open up provinces. Also, while you're at it, open up um, river map. Rivers. And where's the um, height map? Okay, close this. Okay, so here we have 
the height map. Okay, height map, province, river. Our river was right here. We're going to be copying this province map. I'm using GIMP, by the way. It's very useful. Okay. <clears throat> So, we're going to be, you can close this now, you don't need it. Definition, open pencil tool, keep the size to 1, make sure 100% opacity, open the color thing. You can go ahead and close Hearts of Iron 4 for now too. All right. So for the R, oh, make sure you have this 255 thing pressed. Um, if you don't, that'll break your game. R was 185, G221, B15, RGB. So, going to be creating this level less, less opacity. <clears throat> I'm tired, okay? All right, just and then make sure you're doing this on the uh, bottom layer, which is your provinces. Just fill it in here. Now, normally you wouldn't want to do it all the way because rivers get shallower as they, you know, get closer to their forming point. I don't care for this one. Anyways, make it a little bit wider if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Just make it look recognizable okay that's all just make it look nicer here if I will alrighty we can close this pasted layer now now I don't know if that was originally there hold on don't think that was originally there so you can get rid of this it doesn't really matter yeah. Okay, cool. You have a basic small river province here now. Next up, I want you to go ahead and copy this. Go here. Height map. Might be a little bit more difficult for colors that don't do well in the grayscale, but you can probably eye it. Or if not, then highlight it in a different color and then change it back. That could work. Or make it more defined. Let's add this here. Less opaque. Now, actually, 0%. Because we want to copy this base color. This right here, this gray right here is C level, and we want that. Bring this back up and just trace over this. This way, you can actually see the ocean water. Wow, why did I make this so wide? Never make a river this wide unless it's that big. Yet again, make sure you're doing this on the height map and not the pasted thing. All right, should look like this or something different if it's bigger. All right, and you can get rid of this obviously. This won't help you in any way, or if you want to, really if you want to. It doesn't matter. You'll get like a invalid river color thing, but it won't break your game in any way aside from adding one error. Easy. So you can export as to your map. Replace. You do not write color space information. That's very important. You can control save this to whatever. I don't care. Export as place don't write color space save export as make sure it's to your map by the way don't write color space save dot, whatever wherever you want to save it I guess it doesn't matter all right okay so you get a few errors uh, related to Province definition disagreeing on whether blah 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 is coastal. This is pretty important to fix here.
so you're going to reopen definition and it's pretty simple depending oh yeah see this river pmp thing it doesn't matter it won't crash your game I recommend researching like the hoi for wiki uh, rivers guide to, because sometimes branching off rivers or rivers that originate from it will disappear if you want to fix those all right so we're going to be going to province 303 first we're going to be turning this into true copy this then we go to 3342 true then we go to 9310 true okay and as you, can, as you can tell it was some um, these few here close this don't care Okay, obviously it's not going to look good because I made a huge wide river in the side of a tiny island. Obviously for something like the Indus or something it would look a lot better. This is Ireland. It should not have rivers this big. This is essentially a tutorial on how to make oceans. You could do this for the Great Lakes too, or the Mississippi River, or the Dnipro, or the Don, or the Volga. It doesn't matter. It'll look weird for small countries like this, especially if it's this short. If you do it to like France or something this long, it'll look normal. If you've played my mod, it'll probably look a lot more normal than this. But yeah, I don't recommend doing this for tiny little rivers. Or if you do, at the very least, make it smaller. I, I'll show you real quick, and I'm also going to tell you like how to create your own terrain for this. Hurry up. Oh yeah, and you'll see the strategic region here is strategically called if it'll load. Load. Did I Crash Hearts of Iron? Doesn't matter. Don't need this definition thing anymore. And to quickly create a new... Oh, yeah, see a river. Anyways. To quickly create a new terrain. Common. Terrain. Why am I lagging so much? Oh, oh, terrain. Oh. Just go down until you find Water Fjords. This is my favorite one because it's probably the best one for rivers. I think I needed two space. No, I did not. You can rename this to River. Naval Terrain. Doesn't matter what color, I don't care. Movement cost is water, sound type. You can make whatever modifiers you want for this. I don't know, like make it like just like virtually no attack or movement or defense for battle cruisers. You can do whatever. Just save it and then go back to your trusty old strategic region. Yet again, why am I lagging so much? All the way down. So you won't really see a place to put this. It's, you know. We're going to pull up with the North Atlantic Ridge. State ID 49. I'm just going to borrow something real quickly. I'm going to be borrowing naval terrain and you put that right below where do you put that I did not read right below here and of course it'll be called river that's what you called your terrain yep if you want to make a GFX for it I have no idea how to do that last time I did that I failed miserably 
So that might be for a different video. So I like an image for the province. Alright, so you've got your own custom thingamabob now. Let's quickly make this thinner to make it not look wonky. One thing to also uh, watch out for is uh, stray things. Like sometimes you have like one or two pixels that are like on the other side of the river that'll like that's not good for you. Probably. I want things to at least just make you a little bit thinner. Still want them to connect that. If you don't make it connect, it won't work. Uh, you know what? That's good enough. I don't care. This is just for the sake of Making it look half decent, I guess. Obviously, you can make it look however you want. Oh, why are you so slow? All right. Now you can yet again leave this. Okay, I'm tired now. Let's go back to Nudge, and it still looks terrible, but whatever. You're supposed to do this for big rivers, not small ones. I must remind you that. Do not fill England with a bunch of these rivers. You could probably do it with Russia, though. Anyways, buildings, uh, last part, random and state, validate, validate. Units. For this right here, auto improv. Here too, auto improv. Here, 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 here. Basically, any province that borders it. Look at that, you're done. Well, are you now? Let's test it out. So, you're seeing this little set up as coastal but no report in nudger this will likely crash the game now in order to fix this problem despite the fact that we just used a nudger unfortunately nudger isn't very helpful so these three provinces need a port if you want to fix this oh i closed okay just uh, uh, map, go back to your folder, buildings, and I'm going to do something that is very painful, called manually putting in ports. I already know which ones, so just for simplicity, I'm going to be copying that's a coastal place, I can just, naval base. Alrighty, this is just, here's just the basis here. <sighs> right, here's the state ID, thingamabob, coordinates, and ocean. So, state ID for Tula, for Leinster is 113. 113, and the coordinates for this coastal part are 26811589. Two six eight one. What is it? One five eight nine. You don't want it on the water, by the way. You want it on the land. Nine point zero. You want to keep this since this is ocean level, and uh, this is the rotation zero being south facing. Uh, ocean one three three six three. That's basically how you make a port. Just save this. You have a port in this one. You have to do it for all of them if it's broken like that. All right, that's how you do it. Oh, and yeah, river. I must stress the importance of not doing this on a small country, but rather on a big river like the Mississippi or the Ganges, Indus, Yellow, Volga, Don, 
Nipro. You get it. Okay. Uh, bye. Probably like, subscribe, join Discord for questions uh, and suge suggestions for my mod. Oh, this is a long video already. Bye.